guys welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here hello I'm Keaton and today's video is going to be a Amazon must-have my favorite things from Amazon I'm sure you guys have seen these videos all over YouTube I've probably been watched binge watched like 20 or so of these videos no exaggeration so if you guys are new here don't forget to hit the red button down below you guys can subscribe and turn on the bell so you guys know when I am posting when I upload a new video also, last bit of my little promotion, follow me on Instagram and Twitter because it would mean so, so much to me. I keep up to date with you guys a lot on my Instagram and so it would just really mean a lot if you guys followed me over there. So, today's video, let's get into it. So, I watched a lot of Amazon favorites videos and I was really wanting to like buy a bunch of new products and then I realized how many Amazon favorites I have on my own. So, a lot of these products or a few of these products are from other people's videos because I was like I have to buy them like right now I want them but I put them into categories so the first thing that I'm gonna start with is like kitchen um, items so we're gonna get into that first so the first item I have are these reusable produce bags so these are just like recycled material produce bags these are for when you go to the grocery store instead of using the plastic that they have at the grocery store to put avocados or bananas or fruits or whatever it is into the bin because obviously you're not going to just set the fruit into the basket um you put them in these and so that they're reusable you're not using single-use plastic this will really help like limit um uh, the use of single-use plastic by bringing produce bags these also come in different sizes so this is the largest size there's a medium size and a small size they all come as one um also by the way every single amazon product will be linked down below so yeah this is the produce bag that i use i love it it's super super helpful also if there's just something that you're like oh i don't really want it touching the rest of the food like meats or something like that you can always put them in here next up i have these reusable like ziploc bags i'm sure you guys have seen these before but um, these are what they look like. They come in like a pack of, I don't even know how many, but they have a large size and then there's like a medium snack size. So basically what I use these for is in the fridge. If I cut up vegetables or something and I don't use all of them, I'll put like mushrooms or anything like that in here. You can also use them for dry foods if you're packing food for lunch. Again, instead of using like single use Ziploc bags, single use plastic, um, you can use these. They're reusable. All you have to do is like rinse them and then you just set them out to dry you don't put them in the washer or anything you can just like rinse them out scrub them and then you leave them open to dry and they're really good and you can just use them for whatever it is that you guys use ziploc bags for they're just kind of like a replacement a lot of this stuff is like sustainability things that's what i got um for my kitchen mostly so the next thing are these glass containers so there's actually two other ones there's a medium size and a small size but they're dirty right now so these are just glass containers they have a little bamboo lid and i had plastic Tupperware containers that I would store all of my like food in and stuff if I made a meal and I didn't eat all of it I would just store it in the fridge like that but I was looking into it and there's a lot of like chemicals that are in Tupperware um and I just feel like that's just like not the best to be putting into your body I read a few articles about putting it into your system it can lead to like cancers and stuff so I bought glass containers I was like I don't want no cancer so I bought glass containers they're really easy you don't wash the bamboo lids you only wash the Tupperware you can like scrub this down but don't put the bamboo in your washer and yeah that's basically it I love these they're also like really sleek and cute looking in your fridge when you have a bunch of meals I have so much random crap okay so this is a little handheld milk frother this is also again from Amazon duh everything in this is from Amazon but this is a milk frother so obviously with this you literally put it into your coffee you can hear it and it just mixes it up and it frosts the milk I don't really use it for that I found that every single morning I was using the spoon and I was just like wasting spoons stirring my coffee and this is a more aesthetically pleasing way to mix your coffee you literally just put it in there and it blends the milk sugar and all of that in one you put in for a few seconds I love this I think it's so fun to use in the morning I don't know it just makes me happy it's something I get excited about doing my coffee with and it's by the brand Bodum I believe this is the brand that sells those glass cups you guys know the ones I'm talking about the ones everyone has they're like these glass mugs um, I don't have them I was gonna buy them but they only come in like a set of two and I'm like why I have so many mugs I don't need more so maybe I'll buy them in the future but this is the milk frother slash what I use to mix my coffee next up I bought this egg cooker so there's two things I bought from uh, Alicia Marie's video she uploaded an Amazon video I bought them yesterday and I have Prime, so hello, they're here now. 
but this is an egg cooker so basically what you can do is you take eggs and you set them in all of these dots right here you can hard boil them you can literally cook them you can poach them whatever it is and i think this is the coolest idea because you guys know how hard it is to hard boil eggs like you have to get the pot out and it's just like so annoying and instead what you can do is literally set them in here you pour water in it it steams it and it cooks the egg that way i really like hard boiled eggs because they like have a lot of protein in them and so if i want a snack if i don't really want to like make something i will normally hard boil a bunch of eggs keep them in my fridge and then eat them as i go just a snack so this is a much easier more efficient way to do it um but yeah i just bought this i haven't used it yet but this is the egg cooker. It's a rapid egg cooker. <laughs> the other item I bought from Alicia is the air fryer that she had. I have been wanting an air fryer for the longest time and I kind of was like, why do I need an air fryer? I feel like I cook vegetables or whatever, fine. But after watching a lot of cooking videos and seeing people using them, I'm like, I have to get it. So I bought the one she has, but it's literally huge and too heavy for me to bring in here and lift up. So there's a picture here of what it looks like. It's just a black air fryer and I used it last night to make potatoes and I've just like never been happier. Like I feel like I am going to stick anything I can in the air fryer now. I just think it's so nice. It's really easy because you really don't have to do any work. Ooh. I think that's why people get air fryers is because if you're like sauteing vegetables, which it's different, it depends on what you want. I personally like like vegetables and chicken and all of that really crispy. So I feel like that's why I like the air fryer better. Uh, but it's also just preference. But it's like you don't have to do any work. You don't have to stand over the stove and like saute it. You can literally just pop it into the air fryer, walk away, come back a few minutes later, look at it. Like it's not hard at all. So I got an air fryer again. Um, it's linked down below and I love it. It's really good. That was, I think the most expensive thing in this whole Amazon haul was the air fryer. Next up my glass bottles. These are the glass bottles that I keep in my fridge. I got this idea from Desi Perkins. Um, she also, I also bought these off of Desi Perkins. Like she uploaded a sustainability haul. And so I bought them from her video, but they're on Amazon. They're these glass bottles. I use these in my fridge. If I buy a juice, like if I have orange juice or water or whatever it is, when people come over instead of using water bottles, I do have a filter in my fridge, but it's kind of slow. So what I do is I pre-fill <laughs> these water bottles with the water from the filter. So like if I'm like, oh, I really want a glass of water, it's just like more in a hurry. I just grab these from there. It's just, you know what it is. It's just a replacement for water bottles. If you don't want to fill up a cup, you just grab a water bottle. So instead I have these and then I also put like lemon in here, cucumber in here. I'll cut some up and put it in so that it has a little flavor in there. So people can just kind of choose. I say people as if people come to my house. It's just me. I just choose from the water bottles. Next up, I have this seasoning. So there's two seasonings that I buy on um, Amazon. I've only bought this one once. As you can see, it doesn't look like I've used much of it, but I have. So this is a saltgrass steakhouse seven steak spice, whatever. It's like seven different seasonings in one and it's really good. It's perfect for like different chicken, obviously steak, but you can really use this with almost anything. It's just a really flavorful um, steak spice, but my dad recommended it to me because he was like, we put this on everything and it tastes so good. So I bought it and it's only on Amazon, obviously, because I think saltgrass is only in Texas. So unless you were to physically go into the saltgrass store, you couldn't get this, but it is sold on Amazon. And then the other seasoning that I buy, I also don't have because it's being shipped to me from Amazon right now, but is the mushroom and umami seasoning. So this is the best seasoning. It's from Trader Joe's and I really don't shop at Trader Joe's for food food. Like I really go there for like the random Trader Joe items that they have that everyone like loves. And this seasoning is one of those things. And so I decided instead of going to Trader Joe's cause it's a little far from where I live, I would just order it on Amazon and I found it and I love it. It's the best seasoning ever. I put this on my Brussels sprouts. I put this on mushrooms, squash, zucchini. It's just so good. You don't know until you like physically try it. It's just amazing. And it's there on Amazon. Just order it in your next car and it'll show up and you'll love it. I promise. We are still on kitchen stuff. Okay, so the next two things I have are super random, but if you're like me and you like things to look a little more aesthetically pleasing, I bought these egg rings. So they're basically these blue silicone rings. They have a little handle 
right here. So what you do is you set them into your pan and then when you put, when you crack open an egg, you put it in here and it doesn't leave the circle. So then your egg cooks in a perfect circle. I hate when my eggs like touch other things and I don't like when I'm making two eggs and they touch each other. So I bought these egg rings so that they can be in perfect circles and then you just use a little handle and you like lift it up once it's cooked and then you just flip the egg over and it's perfect. So I bought these little egg rings. You can also use them for pancakes, which I've also used. If you like to make perfectly sized pancakes, you can use this for those very random but one day I just that's what I really wanted okay so that was everything that I have for the kitchen and now we're gonna move on to beauty items so the first thing I'm gonna talk about are these hair rollers so as you guys can see my hair is a little bit different today it looks different than how I normally curl it and that's because I tried out using hair rollers it's not as good because as you guys can see this is a little straighter than the top half but that's because the top half of my curls like shriveled up and the bottom half kind of went down but either way it has a lot more volume than what it normally has when I use just a hand like wand I really wanted to try out rollers I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on them I think these were like $32 and there's a bunch of them in here so I went on Amazon I found these and I got them I really really love them I think I need to practice a little bit more with them but one thing for me is that my hair is very flat so a way that i can achieve a little bit more volume is by putting the hair rollers in it gave me like a lot of i don't know like it just looks really pretty especially because i have extensions so i was trying to figure out a way that i didn't have to sit there for like an hour curling each piece i was like what can i do where i just literally pop them in leave them in for 15 minutes and then they're curled so these I got off of Amazon. Oh, I forgot to mention these two things. These are like in my kitchen, but I think they're more like beauty. So the first one is the probiotic that I use. A lot of you guys always ask me which pro probiotic do I take? I take this one. It's by New Chapter Probiotic All Flora. I take it every single day. The reason I take it is because I don't have um, good gut health, I believe. It causes acne on my face um, because of my gut health. And so I start to take a probiotic. I feel like it's made a difference in my skin and I started out trying this one and it's helped. So that's what I do. And then the other thing that I do take is this new age pill or not pill. These are gummies. These are apple cider vinegar gummies. So I'm not the type of person that can really stomach taking the whole apple cider vinegar shot. It's not my thing. I'm not going to like suffer doing that. So instead these are gummies and they're so good. Like they literally taste like candy. I pop two or three and you can eat up to 10. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You can eat up to 10 gummies a day. I don't because then I would go through this like crazy, but they come in a pack of two. So you guys can get two containers on Amazon. They're so good. Amazing. And if you guys have always wanted to do the whole apple cider vinegar thing, but you really hate the taste, which I don't think anyone likes the taste of apple cider vinegar. You should try these pills. Next thing going off of hair is my waiver. I've linked this, talked about it multiple times before. Um, it is just a waiver that I found on Amazon. I think I found it from my friend Brie. Um, she recommended it to me. I think it's the perfect size. It's amazing. My hair looks so pretty when I wave it. I'll post a photo right here, but when I wave my hair, it is so pretty. And not only that, it lasts me like four days. I don't know how long you guys go without washing your hair, but I go quite a while, especially when I wave it. It stays for so long. It looks beautiful. I look like a little mermaid when I do it. I love it so much and it's the best. It's probably one of my favorite purchases I've made on Amazon because when I do this to my hair, I love it and it's just really, really easy. So this is the Revlon waiver. The next thing I got is this Neutrogena Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Cleanser. This is maximum strength benzoyl peroxide acne medicine treats even stubborn acne. So I have not actually used this yet. I bought this off of, I believe it was Laura Lee's Amazon haul. She talked about, I don't, I don't know who it was that she talked about used this and she loved it but I have been just really hating my skin and struggling with acne and she was like, this has cleared so-and-so skin like no other and I'm like, you know what? It's on Amazon, I'ma just order it, I'ma try it out. So I haven't tried this out yet. I guess I could keep you guys updated, but I did order it on Amazon because I really, really, really wanna try this and I have a really good feeling about it because it is maximum strength stubborn acne cleanser. I think if I use this morning and night, I'll see results. I'll keep you guys posted, but this is another beauty item. Next thing I order off Amazon, I get all these questions about are my hair clips. So I've posted photos. Again, I'll put them here. I've posted photos with 
hair clips before, which that is the number one thing I miss about having my short hair with these extensions and long hair. I really cannot use these, even though look how massive these are next to my, these are huge, which I ordered these on Amazon and I didn't know that they were this big, but it actually turns out they work way better than the other ones I ordered. So I ordered two separate ones. I ordered these ones. They come in a pack of black and like a tortoise shade thing and then these two are also tortoise and there's a dark one and then there's a light one there's like tan and then brown these are way smaller these are good if you want to do like a half up look and then you just like clip this in the back you could still do like a short little like roll all your hair up into it but it's harder with these these i would say i get the most use out of because they're big enough they're still not big enough for all of this hair that i have now but they're really really good these are from amazon i get questions on them all the time so obviously i had to put them in this video next up this is my hairbrush the best hairbrush i have ever used i'm not kidding every single person that i have let use my hairbrush have bought this the next day on Amazon. So this is the wet brush. I don't even know what kind because there's tons of different kinds of wet brushes, but this one specifically, I don't know how to describe like the shape of it, the feel of it. You just have to get it to understand. I never buy brushes. Like when people are like, it's the best brush ever. I'm like, I really don't care. Like I'll use my dollar store brush and get over it. But I was actually given this by my boyfriend's mom. She gave it to me and I was like, this is actually a balm brush, especially if you have extensions. This is perfect. I highly recommend it. It's on Amazon. Just order it super easy and you'll never regret it. Oh, the last beauty item. This is a tanning mitt. So this is a exfoliating mitt. I order these on Amazon. I think a lot of um, companies, tanning companies, like Loving Tan, Bondi Sands, whatever, they sell an exfoliating mitt, but you can get like a pack of five on Amazon. They work so good. If you guys self tan, get spray tans, anything like that, and you don't have an exfoliating mitt, you are actually insane. Like I don't know how you do it because literally by like day four or so of my spray tan, you guys know the look of what it has. It's like, you look like an alligator, basically. You're scaly, you're crusty, you're dry, musty, dusty, crusty. That's what you look like when you have a 40-year-old spray tan. So what you do is you get in the shower, put the water really warm, make sure that your skin is soft. You want to be in the shower. So what I would recommend, like you wanna be in the shower for a while, so what I'd recommend is washing your hair, doing conditioner, washing your body, and then you go into exfoliate. Don't just hop in the shower, get a little wet and do this because it's gonna really hurt your skin because you're going to be literally be pulling at dry skin. You want your skin to soften up a little bit. Use this exfoliating mitt. I'm not kidding. It comes off like magic. It's beautiful and it's cheaper than like the ones that normal tanning places sell. All right, now I've got a few random items. So this one I also got from Alicia Marie's video. This is a like lint roller picker upper. I don't even know if that makes sense. But basically this thing, if you have leggings like Lululemon leggings, or you just have older like t-shirts or whatever it is, you get like the little clumped like balls of lint on there. This has basically this little razor thing in here. You rub this all along like the shirt or the pants or whatever it is and it picks up all the lint balls and it puts them into this little compartment right here. I actually tried it last night and it worked really, really well. I tried it on a pair of leggings. So I think that this is a really good investment. If you guys have such a problem like I do, like for some reason I just forget that I don't need to dry my Lululemon leggings and I just put them in the dryer and then when I take them out, there's literally lint everywhere and I get pissed. So this is perfect. If you have any old stuff or just stuff that has a lot of lint, just scrape it off. Oh my gosh, things are getting crazy. All right, I got a few random items. The last few things are random. So this first item is, oh wow, I need to shorten her. Come on, sweetie. Okay, so this last item is a tripod. I just bought this and this is a iPhone tripod. I never bought one because I thought, why would I need an iPhone tripod? I have a camera tripod, but it's different. And I realized that the other day because I've been taking, I've been needing to take Instagram photos of myself and I don't want to bring out my camera for it and stuff. So I realized I really needed an iPhone tripod. This one's perfect. It comes with a remote so that you can basically just walk around, take the photos of yourself. It connects to Bluetooth on your phone. So you don't have to be pressing your phone. You just put it on here and this one gets really, really tall. I looked at a bunch um, on Amazon, but they were pretty short. And I was like, I need this to be 
tall like I need to be able to have my like options this one's perfect you can twist it as well so if you want your phone like this so that, that way you put your phone in this way and it like stands straight up and then this little lever makes it shorter or longer I actually just filmed a TikTok with this this with this this with this this morning um and I basically just had my phone on this and then I would just like press start and go whatever it's so easy and like even if you don't think you need one you might need one if you like taking Instagram photos literally just go in public set up your little iPhone tripod and do it the next item also has to do with photos and this is film so I order all of my film for my film camera on Amazon I order I believe it's like Kodak 400 I don't know it's gonna be linked down below but I order all of my film on Amazon it's really easy and it comes in like packs of five because whenever I'm out I always just like to have a large pack come in the mail so that I don't I just don't ever run out of them I always have film I'll have one in my purse one in the camera just so I can always take as many pictures as I need to Amazon's just a very convenient way to be ordering it the next thing I have is this microphone and this is also from Amazon this is a Yeti blue microphone I got it in white they have it in a bunch of other colors I ordered this microphone not only because I do editing and videos and all that kind of stuff. I'm always needing voiceovers. This is a great starting mic for that. It comes with all these different features on it and it's really good. Actually, Danielle recommended that to me, so that's why I bought it. The last item are these poly mailers. And this is so random, but I want to throw this in here because Amazon's the perfect place if you guys have an at-home business, maybe you sell clothes, you sell jewelry, you sell accessories, whatever it is. Amazon has so many options for poly mailers. Poly mailers, basically you can just send out anything you want in these. So because I depop, I order these off of Amazon. They have other colors like black, pink, whatever. Um, but because I depop a lot, I always need packaging to ship you guys all the clothes. So I started ordering these off Amazon because I realized I was going to like physical stores like a Home Depot or whatever it was and I was picking up poly mailers and they were so expensive. So I found them on Amazon, they're way cheaper. They come in a pack of like 300, I'm pretty sure. So very easy, but I think that that is it for my Amazon haul. So this is everything that I have to show you guys from my Amazon haul. These are all of my favorite items that I have bought off of Amazon. I hope that you guys are inspired, you get some ideas. Again, everything's linked down below if you guys wanna get anything. Maybe you guys can also comment down below some of your favorite Amazon favorites because it would help me out. I feel like Amazon is just one of those things you just keep adding to your favorites, you keep adding to your cart, and then at the end of the day, you're like, oh my gosh, do I really need all of this? And then you just hit checkout and it's the end, it's over. So if you guys have anything that you guys really like on Amazon, Amazon, you can comment it down below, but I hope you guys like this video again Don't forget to subscribe you guys can hit the red button down below and you guys can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter So thank you guys again, and I will see you guys next time. Bye